Some Tennesseans are now being taken to court over their medical bills. It's happening in at least one rural county. Hospitals, though, say they need that money to keep their doors open. Here's Chris Conti. It was very much winter outside the Putnam County Courthouse today. But inside, there was no snow day for Judge Steve Walls. Thursdays are debt collection days in this courtroom. Have been for years. Recently, though, he has noticed something different about the kinds of bills being brought before his court. We live in a rural area, and you know we've got a lot of folks from other counties that come into Putnam County, so um, and it's tough on people. On any given Thursday, if you look at the docket here, you'll notice one consistent plaintiff. Cookville Regional Hospital, the county's only emergency room, is suing patients who can't pay their bills. We've got a, a city-owned hospital that has to try to survive. Judge Qualls understands both sides. He knows how difficult it can be for many of those who can't pay their bills. They've got three kids and, you know, a job and their husband's lost his job and they just can't do it. They just can't do it. It may seem extreme, but every month Cookville Regional has more than $20 million worth of bills that patients aren't paying. Judge Qualls does his best to make things fair for both parties. Rarely do I ever set someone's payment over 100. Rarely do I set it under 50. Um, if they've got a $12,000 debt and they're wanting to pay $50 a month, I mean, it's going to take, you know, years and years and years to pay that off. A flurry of activity over the fate of medical debt, both inside and outside of this courtroom. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. Cookville Regional tells us they only sue if patients have failed to set up any kind of payment plan. Last year, those court claims over debt brought in about $300,000 to the hospital.